Hey, where's Alan? I'm over here now. Here. Oh, hello. I know I'm so slim. You're sounding good. Shall we find out who the next guest on my all-star waltzer are? Shall we find out? Rotate the guests. Who is it? Oh, my God. Jeremy Riven, Darren Brown, Don Parr, Martin Freeman, and Jimmy Carr. Me Bombay mix around. They're expensive. I know. People we are like, loving like... Lazy Susan, Alan. Yes, it's wonderful. It's <laughs> and then it just goes round and round and round. Do you know what? It's a bit like, you know, when you're drunk on Amazon and you <laughs> order things and you forget and then it just pops around like, oh, this is what I ordered. <laughs> does that make you feel special? It does. Right. I feel like at the back here we're like, we're like sort of half a Westlife tribute. <laughs> well, <laughs> just sat on stalls looking a little bit awkward about to sing a ballad. Yeah, that's just the look I wanted you yeah. to have. This one's for my mum. <laughs> Now listen, Jeremy, there's a very good reason why you're down here today, isn't there? there yes, there is. A, well, yes. Um, well, my, my father passed away from cancer 10 years ago, and um, so it's been, you know, incredibly close to my heart. And um, so just, it's an honor to be here and to be a part of this. And I've been in town with his wife, mm. working, I want to say working. <laughs> Work, yeah. yeah, working, working. working. working on a, a show called Mr. Selfridge, about Harry Selfridge and the building of his store 100 years ago and all that yeah. stuff. He was American, unbeknownst to so a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at Derek, clapping an American, one. very good. <laughs> right on, we love everyone here, don't we? <laughs> and, um, and it's just really an honor to be here, to oh. be honest with you, and you guys have been very gracious to the sweaty, awkward American, and so I celebrate you. Oh, well, you're more than welcome. Glad you turned up, love. Thank you. Now, Darren. Alan. You're not going to F with my head, are you? <laughs> I'm quite sure what that means. No, I, I, won't. I won't. I watched that show, Svengali, you know, with that, that creature, that dog. Thank you very much. Oh, did you see? It looked a bit like you, Jimmy. Did you see it? What, like a creepy-looking doll? It was like a posh chucky. <laughs> well, that is exactly me, yeah. It Fine. Was. Ticks that box. But you're not going to, like, I don't want to, like, end up, you know, wake up in a shopping centre naked doing the gangnam style. Because you do that to Pete. He does. He met. No, you don't cheer that. <laughs> I won't. I'll be... I, nothing. I'll be of no interest at all. Oh. Now, Martin, you're actually a friend of his. Hello. Don't yes, I know, I know Darren a bit. I wouldn't say we're friends. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> but someone, we're not enemies. Not someone I'd warn to. No, no, no. no. We're not enemies, but no, I, 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 we circle each other sometimes, yeah. yeah. Not no, hostility. I'm going yes. <laughs> to with Martin Z. I look forward to that. I'm going to offer you a drink. What drink would you like? I'm going to pick what drink you'd like to have. Wouldn't that be wicked if I did that? I'm going to like try and get that. Would you like Lambrini, Blue Nun, or a delicious WKD? Mmm, I can almost taste the blueness. <laughs> what are you going to go for? I don't want to plant any seeds. No. What would you like? I would love a WKD. A WKD? Please. Oh my God. <laughs> that is what I had written on my chest. Wow. That is amazing. Wow. Now, let, now, seriously, let's get everyone a drink. <gasps> oh. oh, my God. No. That's no. magic. No. I had that globe checked before. There wasn't anything in it. And now there is a rabbit. Ooh. Dawn, can you look after yes, my rabbit? Yes, I don't want Esther to turn it into ice cream. No, just, <laughs> you've got to cup its bum, apparently. Okay, okay. I've got him. I've got him. Now, what's this Russian roulette film you're doing? Russian roulette? No, no, that was about ten years ago, Alan. Um, I'm doing a... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Apocalypse! You did it, no, you did it with Stand Up to Cancer with Dawn! Oh, no, yes! Oh, Sorry! <laughs> Embarrassing. Uh, yeah, no, with a with a um, with a with a paintball gun. Yeah, you yeah. have to get her husband a two months to shoot her in the face. What kind of sick man does that? My husband didn't hesitate, which is even more sick. I know. He just pointed directly at your face. Are we talking about what I think we're talking about? <laughs> no. Oh, we're going to see it in a minute. It's amazing. I've seen it. It, oh, really, it? Oh, it's thank brilliant. You thank you. Um, I'm. I'm a bit like you, I mind you read, are, yeah. You are, yeah. Yes. So, um, Jimmy, yes. I'm going to read your mind. No problem. Think of an image, 
And I'm going to draw what you're thinking. I'm, I'm going to put Dawn being shot in the face out of my mind briefly. Yeah. And then, okay. Think of that image. And I'm going to go. I might disappear okay. into a trance, okay? <laughs> I am so true. Oh my God, where did that come from? <laughs> What's that image? What is that image? <laughs> like a poor man's Derek Have you got the image? <laughs> Keep the image. Show it to the audience. The image. Ow, ow. I can't show them in my mind. What's my image? What's your image? What, what's, what's in my head? What are you thinking? Well, I wasn't thinking. I, I was. Tell me what you're thinking. I have drawn it. There's no way you've drawn what I was I thinking. I have. Well, what? Well, show me what you've drawn. No, you show me. I've read your mind, not the other way around. <laughs> well, I, I was thinking of Dawn being 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 shot. Thanks. Oh, um, charming. Thanks. Well, because you mentioned it, and I thought I will I'll visualise that, and that, that's genuinely what I was thinking. Nothing else. That was. Well, whose mind did I read then? Woo! I mean, who is it? Was it your mind, Derek? That's what I read in someone's mind. I didn't, I didn't think you meant what was at the front of my mind. Yeah. That, that is going to give us all nightmares. <laughs> no. you, oh. Just, oh, you just stroke the rabbit. Flopsy. Oh, you flopsy. But if you want to see the, uh, the master do mind reading exclusively for Stand Up To Cancer, this is the incredible Darren Brown. Hello, I'm here for Stand Up To Cancer at the Palladium Theatre in London's glitteriest and westiest of ends, and I have with me the very beautiful and sexy Chris O'Dowd. <laughs> And his, and his wife. Um, Dawn O'Porter, is it, it is indeed. I'm Darren O'Brown, lovely to meet you. Um, I'd like to show you this. This is a Tiberius 8.1 paintball marker or pistol, and I'd like you to have a little go at shooting it. Can I go first? Oh. If you come and stand about here, aim for the target in the middle. Let me just switch the safety off first. Okay, that's safety it's been off. a while that's since I shot a gun. Oh, that's astonishingly good. I meant, ooh. <laughs> that's, let's try Chris. Nice. Chris have a go. Oh, no. <laughs> this will learn you. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. Yeah, dreadful. Let me just come back here. Let me explain what we're going to do. If you could name your price, how much to get shot with one of these. It would ruin your clothes. You get covered in red paint, and it really, really hurts. Um, oh, God, 50 grand? 50 wow. grand. Wow, that's a lot, isn't it? 50 grand. Yeah. Okay, but if you were offered, say, five? I'd say I'm worth a bit more than that. Okay. Bottom line, absolute bottom line. Let's do 10. 10? Yeah. <laughs> that was easy. Good, all right. 10,000 pounds, good. Good. 10,000 pounds only. I haven't signed it yet, but I will if I need to. Let me explain the game that I have in mind. I've got five of these guns, but only one of them is loaded. So four not loaded, one is loaded. And in the game that I suggest, you, Chris, will pick up and fire four out of the five guns at dawn. That's the game. Oh. Now, what I've done is I've put the guns in a gun rack, yeah. and I've put the loaded gun in the position that fewest people ever pick. It's the one that people tend to leave behind. It is the psychologically least appealing position. Okay. So in other words, if all goes well, you won't pick it. That's the idea of this. And you will not get shot with the paintball. But if you do... Don't try and be clever. I won't. Uh, you know I never do that. Excellent. <laughs> if you do, if it goes wrong, though, and you do get shot, I will sign the cheque for £10,000. You can both have that money with my blessing. Chris, happy to play? Yeah, it sounds great. Excellent. Good. Happy to play, Dawn? Yeah. £10,000. <laughs> Anything you want to add before we do this? No, all good. Right. I only ask because sometimes the gentleman officer to swap places with his wife. But that's okay. That's fine. Dawn, come and sit your bad self down here. You're going to shoot me. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Your right hand's out. If you hold that in your left hand there, I'm going to pop these around. You want to make it a bit more cosy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is how we met. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got some legal work to do. Chris, can you oh. come in here? Oh, shh. If you can see yeah. it from it, yeah. Agreed, accepted there. Lovely, participant one. Dawn, I know this is a little fiddly, but if you could just sign for me where it says participant two. Just there as well. And blah, 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 blah. That'll do. Good. Can we get the guns on, please? And uh, if you can put that in there for me. On the side of each gun, you see there's a little red, little red sort of flash on uh -huh. the side of each gun. Can you see that? Yes. That means... 
that the guns are ready to fire. The safety is off. All right, thank you. I'll leave the contract there. You can keep an eye on it. If you come around the back, you'll see they all look the same. They look identical. You can't tell which one's loaded by looking at them. No. Yeah? All right? If you come around the front, finally, you'll notice they're labelled A, B, C, D, E. This is for clarity, so we know each time which one you're going to fire. You all got right? it. Good. If you stand on this uh, red target there, facing that way, this puts a distance of about 20 feet uh, between you and your wife slash target. Right. Hey! <laughs> You're going to fire four of the five guns. If at any point during that process you fire a paintball at dawn and hit her, that's important, no firing up in the air, I will sign the check. You can have the £10,000 and it will be hysterically funny to see you get covered in paint. Also, just for you, so I think it's important that you are informed. I'm going to show you some, I promise, worst case scenario injuries that you might expect from a, from a game like this. Um, classic shots to the back. It's a classic paintball oh, world. God. It's about three weeks before they go down, but nothing, uh, nothing permanent. Also, it's actually really nasty getting paint in your eyes, although this isn't very comfortable. It is best just to be safe, just to cover up. Can't be too careful. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm just being intentionally hilarious. I do have to put this on. You tip your head back, will you, Fong? Thank you. This means there's risk. Uh, there is. Are you okay? Yeah. All right. Good. Then we begin. Okay. We begin this game, look at me, with a one in five choice. That's one in five. You're very unlucky to pick the loaded gun on the first out of the five goes. Nonetheless, you've got A, B, C, D, or E. So at the moment, you're going to walk over there and pick up any one of the five. Which one are you going to go for first? Uh, C. C. Sure? <laughs> yeah. Okay, then... Oh, no, then go and pick up C. Okay. That's your decision. Uh, fingers away from the trigger. Keep it pointed at the floor. <coughs> are you ready? We're going to do this in stages. Sure. Aim. Nice thumbs up whenever you're ready, Dawn. Nice yeah, thumbs up. Hey, baby. Do it. Excellent. Good luck. In the words of Her Majesty's Royal 13th Hussars, fire at Dawn. <laughs> Handgun scene does not contain a paper. Good. One down. One down. C does not contain a paintball. I'll put these up here. I'll keep track of them as we go along. That is a C. Gun C has been fired. Now, okay. take a step back from me. Yeah. Most people going for C the first time would normally go for A or E the next time. It's like one in the middle, then one at the end. Normally E, I suppose. That's what most people would do. And the tricky thing is I'm not 100% sure whether I want to hit her or not. Like, it's kind of, you know, it's really up in the yeah. air. Yeah. So I don't know if Oi. I'm trying to get it or trying not to. But okay. I feel like D feels right. Is it Just D? Do it. D. Let's do it. Okay. So, well, eager. That's nice. Fingers away from the trigger. Bring yourself back. Do you want to put that back and change it for a different one? No. No. Aim. This is gun D in your own time. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh. D does not contain a paintball either. Good. Two down. Two down. I'll put it up here, C and D, both fired. Uh, okay, so now, come here again for me. Yes. Now we're down to one and three. Which one of those three would you go for? A. I have terrible trouble with the Welsh accent. Is that, that's A, a for apple, yes? <laughs> yes. A. All right. So. A for arsehole. A for arsehole. <laughs> bless you for that. Um, a for arsehole. Um, okay, so you're going for A. I am going to eliminate one of these guns. So look, you're going for A. I'm going to eliminate, I'll eliminate this one. I'll eliminate B. All right, so I've removed a gun from the game. I've eliminated one gun. Oh. I've fired it. I have fired it. I've helped you out. B has been eliminated. B has been fired. That's now, rude. you've got a choice. You can either stick with A, yeah. or you can change your mind to E. A. You're sticking with A. Yeah. Sticking with A. It's a bit heavier than the others, isn't it? <laughs> this is the last gun. Oh, gosh. Aim. Three, two, one, zero. Oh, four guns fired. Yay! Woo! That was gun A. Leaving one gun. Leaving gun E, which you can work it out yourselves by process of elimination, must be the loaded gun. So thank, thank you very much indeed. Thank you for not hitting me. Hey, that's okay. Thank you very much indeed. Let me get these off you. Uh, okay, that's, okay, I understand a slightly, possibly, underwhelmed response there. Is that you not maybe believing that the last one's 
loaded. But it's convenient. Do you believe it's loaded? I don't know. I don't know. I, I presume it is. I anticipated this. We haven't won the check. You understand that, don't you? If I give it to you, Dave, come and have a look as well, Bob. Come and stand here for me. If you open it up, yeah. and take up the cigarette on the back of the check. You can read that. Can you show the camera here. Can you read that out? The Lord of God is in position E. Proof. There we are. Do you believe it's loaded? No. Well, fuck it. There's only one way to find out. Come and stand here, Chris. Why don't you pick up? Stand over there hey. and aim it at Chris. Whoa! Hey now! Oh no, because I actually think it might be. Chris, you need one of these? Oh shit. This is suddenly way more fun. <laughs> you just stand there on that little cross there. Oh, God. thank you. Oh! Hey. <laughs> I'm not aiming at that. I'd extend your arms. <laughs> yes, I suggest you do. I count you down. <laughs> I didn't even say fire. It was the loaded gun. It was the loaded gun. I never said. Let me take this off. I never said what it was loaded with. I was actually going to do it though, even though I thought it was loaded. Yeah, I, don't know what I never said what it was loaded with. That wasn't the point. Did you read the small print in the contract? No. No, no. People often don't. Can't have a look so you can read this. This contract only refers to a paintball being shot, and no money will be paid for getting shot with confetti or other clowning materials, just in case it went wrong. However, Darren Brown hereby happily agrees to pay the participants every penny of the agreed amount if, if, that's £10,000, if the guns are fired in anything other no. than the following order, C, D, B, A, E. C, D, B, A, E. The order you fired them in, C, D, B, A, E. A -E. Thank you, Chris. That's so good. Thank you, Dawn. Yeah, Thank you, Sarah. I'm glad to see you again. And that uh, you can keep your contact with me. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's so predictable. <laughs> How did you do that? We're just really talented. Chris. Well, that's really good. Thank you. I hope they um, gave you a free pack of those washlets. Oh, I was thinking, was, oh, wow. I didn't mean to get the paint off your clothes. Oh, wow, he did that. So what <laughs> happened to the check? <laughs> well, I have the check, of course. Uh, this is not exactly the same one, of course, it was made out of dawn. But um, there you go, I thought it was only appropriate. Oh, it's a lot of money. Oh, you made it up to stand up? You have made up to stand up to candy? Yes, I have. Yes. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I feel like you're cleaner taking checks. I know, you. I know. If you want a job, there's one guy. <laughs> topical joke. Yeah. <laughs> Give it up for my wonderful <laughs> guests. Were they marvellous? <laughs> I had to do it. I'll see you later with another sofa full of great guests. Darren, what are the Euro Millions? Tell me now. <laughs>